y'all, I'm James Wright. Welcome to my shop. I've had a, a very busy week in the shop and I've gotten a lot more done than I had anticipated. Um, I was working on the dresser and got all of the, uh, the uh, tenons cut on all of the carcass. And that was a pile. It was like, a, what, 80 some uh, cheeks that I had to cut. And uh, finally got that all done and so, um, hoping maybe soon I'll get a, another uh, addition to the dresser build out, but uh, I wouldn't hold my breath. I've got a lot of things coming up. Um, speaking of things coming up, uh, this weekend um, I'm going to be in Iowa at the uh, Midwest Tool Collectors Association National Meeting. And if you don't know what that is, it is like the biggest get together of hand tool people. Um, it's a national convention that meets together and there's a huge uh, floor for selling and buying tools. The parking lot turns into like a huge garage sale devoted to hand tools. Um, not just woodworking, but uh, blacksmithing and any um, traditional hand tool from uh, all sorts of different uh, applications. It's just a really, really cool time to get Get together and meet other people and uh, kind of see what all's going on there. So if you're hanging out, um, look for me. I'll uh, be wandering around and I'd love to meet you. I was able to get two videos out this week. Um, number one, I put a video out on what is a Bailey plane um, and a Bailey pattern plane. So whether that's a Stanley or something else, this shape and style of a plane is a Bailey plane. And I really went over the ins and outs and how to set it up and uh, how to adjust it. And it was just a, a quick little video to put out. I'll leave a link to that over here somewhere. The other video this week was taking an old handsaw and uh, turning it into a card scraper. In this case, I actually did a curved card scraper. Uh, fairly simple and straightforward, and I wanted to show that even if you're wanting a rectangular card scraper, they're very easy to use, easy to make, and uh, you can get them out of an old cheap handsaw. And so it's a, a fairly cool project that is, um, I'm getting a lot of good response to it. And so if you want to see that, I'll leave a link over here. Some of the projects I have coming up, um, number one, now I made a card scraper. Okay, how in the world do you sharpen a card scraper? Particularly this curved card scraper. This is a uh, something that stumped a few people and had a few questions then asking about that. So I'll be putting out the video on how to sharpen that. The other thing that I've had a lot of people asking is, how do you sharpen a dovetail saw with those tiny little teeth in there? Um, and to be honest, it's just like any other saw, just smaller teeth. Uh, so keep your eye open for that. I'm hoping I might get that one out this week or it might be next week. Another video I've been wanting to do for a while is actually how to resaw. So how do you take a big board and turn it into thin boards um, along the length? And uh, this is great for if you want to do uh, book matching or things like that. Um, I have been wanting to do a lot more box work and you generally want a thinner stock material. So I can rip down the four quarter or three quarter material to uh, become the size I want it to be. And that's done with uh, this beast over here. So I'm hoping to get that video out sometime here. Um, as well as I'm gonna be working on several boxes. Um, particularly, I'm gonna be making a couple boxes for housing uh, some of the tools. Uh, Stanley 45, Stanley 55, and uh, doing that for a friend. And so this is gonna be kind of a fun build. I'm gonna be doing a couple extra things into it, maybe a little bit of carving. Who knows, we'll have to see. The hand tool build off is really starting to uh, develop. Uh, we've got about four weeks left in it until uh, July 1st and uh, a lot of people really uh, starting to get involved with it and putting up creations. Um, we have uh, some prizes that are going to be ready for Canada now um, and Mexico. Um, I think there's one in New Zealand. Um, uh, uh, Europe and uh, a couple other places. So um, this is going to be kind of cool and international and, uh, and really, really big. Along with that, I'm teaming up with uh, Mitch Peacock and he's has a Toolmake 2016 that's going on. Um, it, a very similar contest, but uh, uh, very, very different in that he has it open for a lot of other things. It's not just hand tools. And uh, really, really sweet channel. I'll leave a link to his channel over here. Um, I'm gonna be uh, sponsoring one of the prizes in, in his contest. And uh, so if you make anything for his, um, as long as it fits into the, the rules for uh, this build, uh, you can actually do one tool and submit it to both contests. So kind of a, a cool opportunity there. So that's about it for this week. Um, just a lot of fun things coming up, especially with uh, going off to the Midwest Tool Convention um, and uh, things I'm planning on making. I'd love to hear your ideas. If there's something you'd love for me to, uh, to put together or talk about, uh, let me know. I might make a video on that. And if you do 
see me at the Midwest Tool Collectors Association meeting, uh, please come up and say, hey, I'd love to meet you. Um, I have a few stickers and other things like that to hand out and uh, love to say hey. So that's about it. I hope you like this. If you did, please hit like, think about subscribing, and uh, feel free to check out one of my other videos. You might find something you like. And until next time, have a wonderful day.